On August 26, 2017, the Palisades WBL celebrated its 10-year anniversary. Over those first 10 years, we had a lot of memorable moments and even surpassed our lofty expectations. To commemorate our decade in Whipple, we proudly present a new series, the top 10 of the first 10 years. God, that is the longest home run ever, ever. We kick it off with number 10. Even though he's a righty, Scott Fleeser was able to make the list with this monster shot that easily cleared our 120 foot fence in center. Here it is again in slow-mo. We didn't have to go back too far for number nine. Nick Martinez gets all of this one and leaves the yard with a ball that traveled over 150 feet. At number eight, Johnny Costa. Not only does Johnny put this one in orbit, he ends the game. It was one of three walk-off home runs in 2017 for Johnny Wicks. Let's get another look at that sweet swing. Number seven is Nick Anazalakis. About 40 feet behind the left field fence is another fence. Nick launched this one into one of our neighbor's yards. At number six, all the way back in 2010, is a home run from Jason Paraskevis. You may not have noticed it because the home run in question is on the field behind this field. After the video freezes, you will see a ball climbing, which then lands on the highway behind the trees. The ball was never recovered. Coming in at number five is a 2014 home run from Tom Beninati. The wind may have had something to do with it, but the top of that hill is 170 feet from home plate. The fourth longest home run in Palisades history comes from a name you'd expect, Withman. This was on the last day of the season in a meaningless game, and Withman was the beneficiary of a meatball served up spicy. It's kind of worth hanging on this clip to see the ball being retrieved. We go back to 2010 for number three. This is a good example of why Anthony Lando was the Palisades home run king for a number of years. Those tree branches are 175 feet from home plate. At number two, it's Whiffman again. You see the left field fence? How about the eight foot tall fence on the hill behind it? This ball traveled over 200 feet. <laughs> they say lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice, but apparently thunder does. At number one, this is the blast of all blasts. We go back to 2013 when Nick Anazalakis hits a wiffle ball further than anyone before or since. This ball went over the house and was never found. It was estimated to have traveled an amazing 235 feet. 